There was a man who searched for a perfect woman for 20 years. One day, someone asked the man, Have you ever found a perfect woman? The man said, Yes, I found one! The person asked again, Why are you still single? The person answered, The perfect woman I met was looking for a perfect man. <clears throat> Finding a perfect match is never easy. Just like the man in the story. I was still looking for the perfect match for my life. How searching is this like searching for the perfect match? It has four major components. First, screening the candidate. Second, meet the parent. Third, propose. And fourth, tidying the knot. Three years ago, I started my house searching. Do you think I'll be the lucky one? and find and own a perfect house? I sharpen all my five cents during my screening process. You know, it's not morally wrong when someone posts a picture that was taken five years ago on a dating website. So don't be fooled if you see a beautiful picture of a house. Make sure you see the house in person. A professional stage help. <coughs> On the other hand, meeting a person is not the same as knowing a person. A professionally stage how it can look a lot bigger and more appealing than the asking price. It's just like putting an extreme makeover to a local girl and turn her into a beautiful supermodel on Sport Illustrated magazine. <clears throat> the third step, meet the parent. On the second step, meet the parent. You know, Asian parents always know for having high standard. My parents always demanding a house that was so beautiful but cost twice as my initial budget. And my mother, and she always put feng shui under microscope. For example, if a house has a stair that is facing the entrance, it means the owner of the house wouldn't accumulate wealth. Who doesn't want to be rich? I thought I'd better listen to my parents. <clears throat> Who do you think making a proposal is easy for a guy? If it was easy, then the movie wouldn't have all this ancient theme about a woman waiting patiently for the guy to pop the question. Marriage is a long, lifelong commitment. So is a 30-year fixed rate house mortgage. In my three years of searching, I made one offer. Why? Because I was scared. I'm fear of the unknown. What if after I bought a house, the house price went down? What if I lost my job, not able to pay the mortgage? Is that really the perfect house for me? What if I wait a little bit longer? A better house and a better price came on the market. Well, as a 30-year-old woman, you get a letter, free advice and reminder. Beep, 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 your bell clock's clock clicking. On the other <coughs> side, the media keep producing upbeat news. The housing price is rising. And my brother yelled at me. He's like, there's no perfect house. Just go hurry up or you and I will buy one. Oh yeah? That's one perfect suggestion. To marry a rich man who already owns a house. In fact, I met just get such an opportunity. A few months ago, I met Mr. Biker. Guess which activity Mr. Biker suggested for our second quasi day? Not a romantic dinner. 
need a walk at a beautiful beach. It was a 14 mile mountain biking. Up here in Santa, but downhill, my knee went buckle. When I pushed my bike slowly, carefully down the first hill, Mr. Biker was waiting for me patiently at this flat stretch. He taught me patiently how to apply brake going downhill. And then he looked right into my eye and said, Fear is the number one enemy of mountain biking. My fear was real. Four years ago, I fractured my right ankle. I was on a quad painfully for eight weeks. My quasi day turned into a battle of my fear going downhill. Why did I came to the biking trip? No idea. I guess love disrupted my logical thinking. As the trip went on, the adrenaline replaced my fear. And the adrenaline rush stayed on after my trip. And I felt that I am fearless. I could take on any risk. <clears throat> Two weeks later, a house went on sale, perfect location, and this time I was so determined. So I was able to look at the house, make the worst case scenario judgment, submit an offer, and the offer was accepted within one hour. So essentially, I was buying a house using less time than buying a dress. I was so impressed about myself. So I told her to my friend. My friend commented quietly. They say, it's not that scary to buy a house, isn't it? Maybe what you found getting married is not that scary either. I said, hmm. At that moment, I realized that it's very scary to make a big decision before you make it. But once you make it, it's not that difficult at all. So I answered my friend. I said, no, it's not that scary. I think finding a perfect match for life, definitely achievable. Thank you.